So this is my car kit. This is These are the sunglasses that I take with me most of the time if I'm going to go out driving. This is um, a lens bag that I got from Amazon. I can hold six pairs of glasses and then I put the glasses inside these water bottle, water bottle holders that I also got from Amazon. But let me show you the glasses that, um, that I typically take out on a drive. So first one is this Barberini. This is the, um, the photo polar amber lens with a gradated blue flash. And this goes from cat three to cat four. So it changes with the light, transitions behind glass. And this is the one I'll grab when it's um, a little overcast, but really still pretty bright. So if the sky is a kind of like blue, you know, more blue gray overcast kind of thing, but, um, but still feels really bright because this really, this really cuts the light down quite a bit. And then this is a Serengeti 555 nanometer green. So this is also photopolar, so polar, polarized and photochromic. Um, this one I wear a lot driving. The green I just find um, is a super soothing green that just always seems to feel right if it's kind of brightish. You know, um, I won't wear if it's really overcast, but if it's sunny or maybe just a few clouds, um, this just, it's soothing to the eyes and adjusts really nicely to the light and just feels good driving. That one's in pretty heavy rotation. These are Randolph Cobalt Mirrored Green. So this is just an alternate green lens that I carry. Um, this one isn't quite as soothing as the, um, the Serengeti, but it's just a really nice, you know, I, I'll take these out sometime and show them to you, but this is a, just a nice crisp green that's a little bit, airs on the blue side. Um, and these just, I just like the way that these feel when I'm driving, the way that they look when it's, when it's bright. It just there's something just kind of crisp about it that, um, that I enjoy. And then we've got another Barberini. So this is the bronze photopolar. The other one was amber. So this is a bronze polarized photochromic lens that's got a gradated silver mirror on it. So it actually, when you look through it, it gradates from darker to the top to a little lighter on the bottom. This one is in heavy rotation. This is usually the one if it's overcast that I'll grab. Um, it always just, seems to feel the best in terms of the color balance and just making it so I can see stuff <laughs> while I'm driving. Um, and it, it'll adjust from, I'm not sure what the exact uh, light transmission is. I'll see if I can put it down in the comments. But um, this seems to go from, you know, it can be a fairly bright overcast to even more of a darker overcast. Um, but that one gets worn probably more than any other glasses when I'm driving. Um, and then another Barberini. This is the gray photopolar. And so this has also got a silver gradation on it. And it's polarized photochromic. And... This one, um, similar light range to the bronze, but I wear this when it's when it's clear out. 
and I find that this just always feels about perfect if it's if there's no clouds in the in the, in the sky. Um, so if I'm not wearing one of the green lenses, I'll I'll throw this on. And um, you know, one nice thing about it, it kind of this is one of the few gray lenses that boosts colors like Maui Jim does. Um, so it sort of has that little bit like um, accentuated acuity for a gray lens. But it's definitely just, if I was to compare this to the Maui, which I happen to have right here, um, it's a little lighter than the Maui. And I wish I had these outside, but um, it's also a little more of a pinkish hue and the Maui's more of a green. Um, but this one just has become probably my favorite gray, I'd say, um, even better than the Maui, which says a lot. So this one gets a lot of rotation as well. And then finally, a nice dark lens. So this is the Varney, they call it the gray green polarized. So it's um, pretty much a gray that's just got a little bit of a, almost a bluish green hue to it. But these just cut a lot of glare and a lot of light. Like I can put these on if it's really bright, my eyes are tired. These are just like a, you know, I just wanna go as dark as I can. Um, let's say if I've had a long day skiing and my eyes are tired, um, these just really knock the light down. Um, and I change these out a little bit depending on what I think the conditions are going to be, but I usually take six pairs out. Um, I might do the Maui Jim gray lens instead of the Varney. Um, and then one of the other ones that I take out sometimes is this Costa Del Mar green mirrored copper, which is just a stellar lens. I think. Um, I just love the copper color. It just feels so good to look through. And um, this is pretty much like an overcast lens for me. Um, it's a, you know, like a 12% visible light transmission, but, um, but I wouldn't wear this on a sunny day. This would be something I'd wear when it's cloudy out and just um, really helps with the acuity and um, just looks so nice. Um, and I wear the Barberini more often because that adjusts to light a little bit better, but if it's, you know, this one just, I love taking this out sometimes. And then the final one that I've been using, this is from a brand called Spotters, which is an Australian company. And I just sort of like took a chance and got these from uh, justsignese.au, which is an Australian website. And these use a glass lens. These are a copper photopolar. So one of the few other copper lenses that I found out there, you know, there's not many people making coppers now. I think like Smith and Costa are about some of the only ones um, in a glass copper. But this is, you know, I was really excited just to see another another copper lens. Um, but this one actually will transition behind glass. So when you're driving, it'll adjust to the, to the light. And um, it's a really clear lens. The one thing I don't like about it is it doesn't have any backside AR coating, which all the other glasses do. So you, I get, sometimes I get a little reflection of my own face and my own eye that, I, that bugs me a little bit. But that's really only if it's more bright out. If it's if the light is pretty flat, and there isn't a lot of direct sun, I don't. It doesn't bother me as much. But I'll wear this if I know it's going to be more foggy, or um, let's say I'm going through the trees or something like that. So that's uh, that's my sunglasses kit. Hit the subscribe button and the like button if you like this video. Thanks.